Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be making an electromagnetic vise for grinding some plasma parts. Whenever the small parts come off the plasma, you have to take the slag off and clean them up. And it's just kind of hard to be able to rip a small part when you have a lot of them. So what I'm going to do is make a magnetic vise pretty much that is going to use a foot pedal so that when you press down on the foot pedal it's going to activate the electromagnet it's going to hold the part and then when you leave off the pedal it's going to disengage the magnet and you'll be free to move the part off the vise. Okay, so looking at the parts that I have here obviously a foot pedal to be able to turn on and off the magnet I have a 12 volt 2 amp power supply I have the electromagnet itself. The power is 70 kg. The voltage is 12 volts DC. It has one mounting hole on the back. I've already tested this. This works really well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get a drawing made up in CAD. And once I'm happy with that, I'm gonna send it over to the CNC plasma, get that cut out, and then we're gonna bend up this vise. Here's just a quick project. Um, probably not going to fully weld this. I'm just gonna make it so that it bends up and has some tabs on it. Uh, it doesn't have to be crazy strong. I'm gonna make it out of eighth inch plate. Okay, so I got this bent up. The way I designed this, I made the tabs pretty small so I could just bend this by hand and not have to use the press brake. So I'm gonna get this tacked up on the inside and I put these slots in up here to just kind of help with airflow to try to keep the magnet cool. Okay, so that fits in there pretty much about perfect. Exactly what I was going for. I did end up slotting these just to make it a little easier. Now that I know this is good to go, I'll weld these corners and we'll start wiring this thing up. Okay, so what I did here was I burned this 16 gauge cover plate. What this is gonna do is go over top of the magnet to protect the actual surface of the magnet. I tried testing this before. It still seems to work really well. The magnet's still really strong even with this 16 gauge on top of it. So that'll help protect the magnet but it won't have to go through as thick of metal as the eighth inch here. I made this bracket here slotted so I can adjust the height of the magnet. So if I want to use the cover plate I can. If I don't I could just adjust it so that the magnet is flush with the top. It's coming out pretty good. Pretty excited about this. Uh, I wasn't going to powder coat it, but it's coming out really awesome. I think I might.
So here's what it looks like with the cover on top. Like I said before, it's just a thin 16 gauge protector to protect the magnet when you're grinding. Obviously I know this is going to get tore up. So there's actually tons of room inside here for mounting the connectors. This actually came with a cord grip. I got a half inch NPT plug that I'm going to use to actually plug this. Okay, so on this switch here, the common is going to be this front screw. So that circuit is complete, that's normally closed. That opens the circuit. So what we're gonna be using is the normally open. So we'll be using these two screws. So I'm gonna go drill two holes in here to put the connectors in, and then we'll get this wired up going to remove these two screws that hold the actual switch into the housing. That'll give me some more room to drill. So there's what the switch looks like. It's got a little roller tip on it. Seems like a pretty high quality switch. Okay, so I got two holes drilled. One on each side. That'll be power in, power out. So this here is a little tight. It's hitting the switch, so I'm going to have to bend this tab over to the side like that. I should have enough room. Yeah, just enough room. So this, it's not going to matter which side you plug in the power or which side you plug in the actual vise to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire a jumper from the ground to the ground over here, and then I'm gonna run one leg of the switch to each positive. So one side will go to the COM, and then the other side will go to the NO. So that connector there was kind of close to where the switch is actually going to be. So I wanted to make sure I got some good heat shrink on there. And I did bend it at a 90 degree angle just to clear this switch. Make sure all the wires are clear of the switch, and that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to take these two ends, extend them. So 
thing's gonna be awesome. Put your part on there, hit the pedal, grind, let go, ready for the next part. Obviously the thicker the metal, the better it sticks. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap up the video. This thing works awesome. I don't know exactly how much strength it has. Uh, the whole entire unit itself is pretty heavy and as you saw, I could lift the whole thing up off the bench. So it's definitely got some good power. It's about perfect, I'd say, for what I'm looking for. I don't think it's actually what it's rated at power-wise, but it's still perfect for this application. I kind of figured that and that's why I went a little bit overkill on what I thought I'd need and it ended up working out pretty much perfect. So if you like this video hit the like button, subscribe for more videos to come and I'll catch you next time. Later.